We're going to get about 50 emails a day, hundreds of sources. It is so important. Doors will open, and not everyone is going to be your cup of tea. Oh, Lord. Anyway, don't do it. Item 9 is in place for a reason. Hello, beautiful people of the earth. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you've seen by the title, is going to be my do's and don'ts of college and freshman year and also all of the years of college. And to be honest with y'all, college is so hard, especially in the first year. You feel like you need this, that, and the third, and you gotta do this, you gotta do that. But there's so much. I simplified it into a list that could probably help you out if your school does not already provide this for you. So hopefully this video will help you, and if it does, please let me know in the comments down below. Let's just go ahead and get started because I feel like I have a lot of do's and don'ts for you, but also it's very small. Anyways, let's just get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the do's. I have a whole list here so that way I don't lose track and neither do you. So let's start with the do's. First of all, please do check your email. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you how many times people have missed things, and sometimes even myself. If I don't check my email one day, I promise you I have missed about 10 different events. People are going to be sending emails every single day, and you're going to get about 50 emails a day, hundreds throughout the week. There's going to be schedule changes on there. Your professors are going to reach out to you through there. People from campus, campus events, clubs, everybody is going to be reaching out to you through your email. So please, I beg of you to check your emails and super important there's so much going on on campus and you don't want to miss anything so please check your emails first thing in the morning in the afternoon and before you go to bed the second thing is clean your entire dorm on move-in day i'm telling you they do not they do not clean that i don't care how many times they they say they clean it they don't the only thing they really clean is the bathroom and the hallways for real that is it other than that, they're not cleaning that room. I'm not kidding with you. Please clean your entire dorm on move in day. Before you even put anything on anything, except for the floor, <laughs> please clean your whole entire dorm. Your bed, the desk, the floor, everything. Clean it all up. It is dirty. Those dorms can get stuffy and dusty. Get you an air purifier for it. You're gonna need the whole nine when you move in because I'm telling you, it is so dusty and dirty in that school. No matter what dorm you move into, it is nasty. Please clean it. I beg of you. I feel like the freshman dorms weren't as bad but they're still dirty the third thing is be mindful y'all i cannot tell you like i understand everybody is excited to move into college especially in the first month and so it's really hard to like be like mindful about what you're doing because you're just like oh i'm finally living alone i'm not with my parents anymore i'm not with my guardians i can do whatever i want understandable okay do that but also if you have some home training and some common sense be mindful about your noise about everything about you please be mindful about it because once you get to college people are not always going to want to hear that i'm not going to say i was a karen but I hated the way people was running up and down the steps and just like, you know, running throughout the hallway, making all this noise. It was so annoying, especially when I wanted to study and there was people all up in the hallway making all this noise and I had to like come out be like, you know, like quiet down. That's not nice. Please be mindful of yourself. Please be mindful of others. Um, And being mindful goes with cleaning up after yourself, please. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how dirty the bathroom can get in the morning. Please clean up after yourself. I beg of you, like, I, I, I don't understand how girls can be that nasty. But they are and i made sure that i was wiping up my mess if there was anything on the floor that i dropped i made sure i threw it away everybody else was just doing whatever that's trifling and i'm sorry to say that but please don't be that person don't get to college and be a nasty like that clean up after yourself if you have period products make sure it goes in the right container wrap it up don't be leaving it all over the place that's nasty make sure you look behind the seat after you get up wipe it off like don't be nasty be clean please like it's already not clean enough in the school please make sure you clean up after yourself I'm sorry, that one got me stressed out for a second. Let me call now. <laughs> I'm not joking, cause like, it was so serious. It was so nasty. I'm sipping the tea, literally. It's actually tea in here, I'm not joking. <laughs> but for real, please clean up yourself. Next thing is use all, let me capitalize this. Use all campus resources, please. Use every single thing you can. You are paying a lot of money. And if not you, your parents, and if not the parents, scholarships, it don't matter wherever you're getting the money from, you're paying a lot of money to go to college. Please use every single resource that is given to you, handed to you, or available on campus, and please use it wisely. Please use it like it's like your lifeline. Use it like tutors, use it, the library, any resources in the library, because my library, personally, my school has everything 
They have a meditation room. They have a VR set game room. They have all kinds of stuff downstairs that you can use at your own hands. They have cameras that you can borrow. They have everything. Please look around. Like I said, check your emails. At, like look around and make sure you're listening out for things because there's so many resources around campus. I promise you, you're gonna use every single one of them at least once. They have a healthcare center. They have all kinds of stuff. Use financial aid, use the business office, administrations, the tech office, everything. Use it all because you're paying a lot of money. Of those four years, please use every single thing because you want to be able to say I experienced everything on campus. Anyways, next thing on the list, I don't even know what number we're on. Was we? We're on number six. Please organize your time. I'm going to make a video about this in my next video, but organize your time in college. It is so so important that you know how to manage your time. You have so much freedom. You get on campus, your parents are going, you have freedom. You are completely able to do whatever you want. Do whatever you want as long as you go to classes and get good grades that you can keep up your scholarships or whatnot you have. But I'm telling you, you don't organize that time, you ain't gonna be able to finish what you need to get done. I'm telling you, it is so hard for a lot of people to get things done. And I have friends who do not organize their time correctly. Organize your time. It is so important. Use those planners. Use everything and every resource that you can to organize your time. There's so many resources out there. There's no way that you have this electronic device in your hand every single day. And you don't got no way to organize your time. Please do it. Use the calendar app, if anything. Please. There is so much going on. And just making your life a little bit easier is organizing your time. The next thing, <laughs> this one's going to sound kind of funny, but get a therapist. Do get you a therapist. I beg of you get to a therapist. If you don't have a therapist now, you definitely going to need one in school. Even if your school, like, if your school provides it, please use that too. But get a therapist. Okay, well, nobody say, I don't need help. I'm good. I'm all right. No, you're not. If you're in college, you're definitely, your mental health is definitely down the drain. There is no way you're making it through, okay? You're going to be overstressed and overstimulated, especially in your freshman year. Please get a therapist. If you don't have one already, get one. And if your school has them, use them. The next one is speak up for yourself. I kid you not, not speaking up for yourself is going to be your biggest downfall in college. Like, I promise you, because there's so many people in power, if you don't speak up for yourself, you're just going to be left in the wind. Like, I promise you, it's not okay for you to not be speaking up for yourself. In all cases and terms, you need to be doing so. Whether it be with professors, whether it be with friends, whether it be anything, go ahead and do what you gotta do, stand up for yourself. You have to demand respect in college, especially like you're an adult now and you have to be able to do these things by yourself. Your parents are not here anymore to speak up for you, they can't. I mean, they can, what much can they do if their child's not doing it for themselves? You're an adult now, you have to figure it out, you gotta be able to stand up for yourself shy or not do it i have a friend she doesn't like confrontation but she has to speak up for herself it'll cause so many conflicts and i am living testimony I, i've seen I, I, it, it has happened not having good communication and being shy to not speak your mind is a problem please speak up for yourself in every term if there's a professor treating you wrong or you're feeling discriminated against by students it is not snitching in college title nine is in place for a reason please go ahead and speak up for yourself no matter what the situation is if you feel uncomfortable if you feel like safe if you feel discriminated against or you feel like there's something wrong with what somebody else did to you speak up moving on take every opportunity to meet new people not only will you meet a bunch of new people in your first year especially your, your first couple of months but find new opportunities like i said checking on emails are so important that's why i put it at the top of the list because everything's going to relate back to this email okay go ahead and use every opportunity you find if there are people coming to the school who are important if there's people inviting you to events oh i'm telling you you're gonna find so many opportunities on campus that you may not I have even thought of there are so many students even that have opportunities for you so like your upperclassmen friends please ask them what they're doing what they're up to because they can look let me tell you use every opportunity it is so important doors will open get yourself connected with the community if they feel like they're useful to those people they will go tell somebody else and they will tell somebody else it's so easy to network in college please talk i love talking i love running my yappers as you can see but i promise you just being able to branch out and talk to people be nice be friendly be professional do what you gotta do meet people go to conventions go to everything that can be an opportunity to yourself and others as well like be that person that just goes to all the events and just you know give it to your friends like this time the third i met this person i think you would be you know it would be good for you so i'll call networking so be a networking freak we're almost at the end of my news list but anyways the next one is explore different clubs now i told you guys in my um freshman wrap-up video that i am the neighborhood club freak i am not kidding like please go ahead and be that girl on the streets or that guy on the streets and um not we're well, not the streets but on campus who in everything it is 
is so fun to be in a bunch of clubs, but also limit yourself. Don't be in a bunch of clubs that you know you can't handle. And at the end of the day, most of these clubs are not inducted clubs, so it doesn't really matter. But join clubs that will be exciting to you, that fit your personality, clubs that lean towards who you are. Please join them because there's so many on campus and it's so much fun to just join clubs. There's It's something extra to do besides worry about classes and studying. Now this do is a little bit of a, just, 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 a, just a big tip, bring an umbrella. Oh my god, y'all. I kid you not, not having an umbrella on campus is like your biggest downfall. Like, just getting poured on in the rain is actually heinous. I don't understand. Like, I, the way I'm gonna have to walk all the way across campus just to get where I need to be is going to be my biggest downfall with the start training and I don't have an umbrella on me. Use your umbrella, bring your umbrella, love your umbrella. Your umbrella should be with you everywhere you go especially during the spring semester oh my god it was raining every day i kid you not it's not even funny it was raining all the time bring it everywhere you go get a small little compact one that you can bring everywhere so that way it's not taking up a bunch of space and last but not least on this list is study and do homework one time now this should be pretty obvious to a lot of us but common sense ain't so common no more so please i beg of you please do your studying and your homework on time like don't be that person who waits until the last minute to do every single assignment. So I just beg of you <laughs> to go ahead and just do your studying and your homework on time. Like I said in my like freshman wrap up, you're supposed to study at least 36 hours out of the whole week at the 12 hours you spend in class. So imagine not studying. You always wait until the last minute and then you're gonna forget about it and then you're gonna have to wait until you can, you gotta contact your, but it's just a lot. Just do it on time. They, you get a syllabus for a reason. They have all the homework up there for you. They have all the assignments. They have all the exam time. Check that email. Make sure they didn't change nothing of the syllabus. All that. And if you're having a hard time studying, like I said earlier, use your resources. Go to studying sessions. Go to your professor. Ask questions. Be that person who asks questions in class and all of that stuff. All right, so let's move on to notes. The first one of those. Don't think you're going to stay friends with the people you meet on the first week. <laughs> I got bars. That is so funny. Anyways, for real though, don't. Everybody wants to be friends with somebody, but not everybody is going to fit you. And not everyone is going to be your cup of tea. I promise you, it is really hard. I had it myself. Like, I have friends and I thought they fit me, but they didn't. And that's okay. They were more fit for each other than myself. And I found a different group of friends who do fit me and we all fit each other. So I think it's really hard to realize that some of the people that you're going to meet in the first week are just not going to be your besties. Dorm mates are not going to be your besties sometimes. Like, I promise you, not everybody likes living with each other. Some people are not used to sharing a room. It gets really hard. So there's just a lot to take into consideration when it comes to friends, especially during that first semester of school. Moving on to the second thing, don't stay up late. Oh my gosh. That is going to get you so fast and it'll catch up to you very quickly. Like, staying up late is not fun, especially if you have to get up early the next morning for a 9.30, 10 a.m. class. A lot of y'all don't like getting up early, and I know that. I am an early person, but not a lot of people are. But to be honest with you, it is very hard, and I mean very hard, to understand. You should not be staying up all night. It is not the same like it is in high school. You can stay up all night, go to school, and just sleep in class. That's not how it works in college. You sleep in class, your professor will most likely call you out and tell you to get out their classroom, or they can tell you to drop the class, or you, you just will fail. It's all up to you, to be honest with you, but don't be that person that stays up late tries to go to class for what you're, you're sleepy you're not going to understand the material that's in class if you're just sleepy so please get the efficient amount of sleep that you need for classes especially if they get up early just be limited on yourself be limited on your friends let them know all right i'm going to be like i'm that person i will go to sleep like i love y'all see y'all tomorrow the next one is don't eat out all the time i promise you that is going to hurt your pockets so bad unless you have money like that to be able to do that anyways just don't order all the time don't do it it will hurt your pockets in the, in the long run i promise i can attest to that like my pockets did hurt a lot during that the time every time that we went out to eat spending about between 20 and 30 dollars on food oh lord anyway don't do it uh don't <laughs> don't eat all the time number six is schedule classes back to back don't do that don't schedule classes back 
to that, to that. You're going to want a time to eat lunch. You're going to want a time to be able to study. You're going to want a time to be able to hang out with your friends. So don't schedule your classes back to back to back unless you know you're going to be able to handle it. And you probably won't be able to. I, no more than five classes is, if anybody's taking more than five classes, more power to you. But five classes is already enough. And four is just enough. And three, it's perfect. I'm taking five. And um, it's not bad to take five classes. Now, in the morning, however, I do have three classes that kind of run back to back to back but I still have time for lunch after that third class because I start classes straight up at 9 30 in the morning don't sit in the back of the classroom now I know a lot of people love sitting in the back of the classroom okay I get it I get it I understand I used to be that kid all the time but to be honest with y'all once I got to college I was sitting in the front and I will continue to sit in the front because it's so much better you honestly get to hear so much better you honestly get to see so much better especially if you don't like wearing glasses or don't have them when you need them so for me it is so important for me to just be able to hear listen and also you get the professor's attention quicker so like if you're raising your hand for something or an answer or a question or asking a question it's so much easier for them to see you if you're in the front than if you're in the back because they're just not going to pay attention to the kids in the back because they think y'all just snooze off anyway the next thing is signing up for everything late or doing everything last minute like paperwork and stuff like that please don't be that person don't wait until the last minute to do paperwork don't be waiting until the last minute to get important things in when they should have already been done if you wait until the last moment you're probably going to miss the opportunity first and foremost secondly they're just not going to want to look at your application whatnot whatever anymore because you're already turned it in late so why would they care that you want to turn it in number eight is wait till the last minute to study now this goes back to what i said earlier in the dues which is study and do your homework on time but don't wait until the last minute to do so either that is not going to do you any good and just like i said with you studying don't wait until the last minute to do it because you're going to retain less information first and foremost and secondly you're just going to be rushing through things that you don't even know if you need or not so make sure you're studying earlier ask questions to your professor don't wait until the night before study for an exam and then don't know any of the information or it's hard for you because now it's too late you can't ask your professor nothing you can't ask your ta nothing you can't ask any other students nothing until the beginning of class when you only have like five minutes to do that so it would just be harmful to yourself i mean if that's what you want to do you do that but i recommend not number nine is over scheduling yourself so like i said earlier organizing your time is important over scheduling yourself and overdoing everything is not good and as i've said in my freshman wrap up video i think it was really hard for me a lot of the time because i over you know extended my grace and i gave it to people a lot i was like yeah i'll do this yeah i'll do that but all them yes is caught up to me at some point and a lot of stuff just started falling out of balance and i hated that for myself and i wish i would have said no more but i kept saying yes the groups that i'm in are the most important so if anybody else comes in i'm gonna have to say no especially if i can't do it make sure that you say no Speak up for yourself say no um if you can't do it don't do it and last but not least i feel like this one can be here nor there depending on how your school does it but using all of your dining dollars in the beginning of the semester or beginning of the school year oh my goodness y'all it is so hard because on the last few weeks when you want that starbucks or you want that coffee or you want that pastry smoothie whatever it may be you're gonna be mad because your dining dollars are gonna be gone like <laughs> and ain't just, it's, there ain't gonna be no more so you either have to borrow somebody else's or you gotta actually pay money and i hate having to pay money but sometimes i really sacrifice that seven eight dollars for some starbucks but i wouldn't recommend doing that to yourself um honestly to be honest that's another thing that'll go on your tab throughout the school year so i just recommend saving up some of your dollars until like the end of the school year or the end of the semester depending on your, how your school does it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please comment down below the pencil emoji emoji isn't that different day back to school use the pencil emoji if you made it all the way to the end of today's video please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time i post a new video remember that life is a game that we all are prepared for so make the best of it remember to spread love peace and positivity all around you so pray before it do it and after it and i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so so much bye mm -hmm.